In today's activity, we're going to make a simple cookie cutter using SVGs from the Noun project. The first thing we're going to do is open a new project in Tinkercad, and we're going to change the name to Your Name and Cookie. Now we're ready to begin working on the cookie cutter. To find the images for our cookie cutter, we're going to use the Noun project. You'll sign in with the information I give you in Google Classroom. And when you are signed in, we're going to come to our search bar and you're going to search for whatever you're looking for. I'm just going to search up cat. Now, for cookie cutters, we're looking for solid black shapes. Nothing with the lines in it and not the outlines. It needs to be a solid black shape. So I'm going to scroll down until I find one that I like for my cookie cutter. And I think I'm going to go with this one right here. So I'm going to select my shape, my little icon. I'm going to click get this icon. I want the basic download. And I have two choices here. We want to make sure we download it as an SVG file. So I'm going to go ahead and download that. And the most important part here is we need to give credit for the icons that we use. After you download your SVG, you should see this little box here that says copy link. This is the citation for the image you're using. You're just going to click copy, and then you're going to paste that into the Google Doc that will be included in Google Classroom for this assignment. Once you have that done, you're going to go back to Tinkercad. We're going to import, choose file, and go find your SVG that you just downloaded. Now, it should give you a little preview. What we want to do is change our dimensions. 700 is pretty big, so I'm going to make this about 150. When I click off, it should automatically change the other measurement as well, so it stays proportional. And I'm going to click Import. So now I have my cat here on the work plane. I'm going to move him off to the side and I'm going to press control D to duplicate it. And then when I move it over, you can see I have two that are exactly the same. So one of these is going to become the actual cutter part. The other one is going to become kind of a lip on the edge of the cookie cutter. I'm going to pick one of these, doesn't matter which one. I'm going to change the color just so I can see the differences as I put them together. And I'm going to come here for fill mode. Right now it says default. I'm going to select outer line. I'm going to give it a moment. And we now have an outline of our cat. So now I'm going to go to my second one. I'm going to do the same thing, outer line. I'm going to give it a moment to set up. But for this one, I'm going to come down here where it says line width. And I'm going to make that line a little bit wider, maybe about that wide, around 15 here. You can also click in that number box and just type in 15, whichever you prefer. So this is going to become the lip. This will be the cutter itself. I'm going to select the cut portion, and I'm going to look for this white square in the middle. This is my height measurement, and I'm just going to bring that up a little bit so it is higher than the base of the cookie cutter. Now, I'm going to slide this over on top of my other one. Don't worry about lining it up perfectly because we're going to let Tinkercad do that for us. I'm going to get it mostly centered and then I'm going to bring my mouse up to the top, hold my button down and drag over and down until I select both pieces. It should now say shapes two over here. I'm going to look above my shape menu and find this little bar graph here. This is my align tool. I'm going to click on it and you should see some black circles appear around your design. We want to look for the one here along the bottom, and I'm going to click the center one here. 
and then over here on the side, the center one here. And what that's going to do is center it in there for me so that they are centered up together. Don't worry if you see a little overlap here, that's normal. Last thing I'm going to do while they are still both selected is I'm going to come up here to my group button and group them together so that I now have my finished cookie cutter all one piece. If you want to change the color, you can go ahead. Remember, it does not matter what color you choose. It will print whatever color the filament is on the printer. When you are done, this is your final cookie cutter. Make sure you have named it and you're going to take a screenshot of this and add it to your portfolio. The last step before we are ready to print, we need to export. We want to make sure it says everything in the design. And this time we want STL. After you have saved it, turn that STL in in Google Classroom so that it can be printed. And that will have your finished cookie cutter ready to go.